Who wants to shallow the club in a downswing and stop the over the top move? I know you do. So I've got a real simple illustration and a drill for you to do down at the driving range that is going to give you that exact move. Shallow the club, get the club working on plane, more power, more speed, better shots. This drill couldn't be any simpler. All you're going to need is an empty basket. Ideally a fairly big one like this, not the uh, round ones because this makes it a lot easier to do the drill. But you can do it with that as well. Address it with both hands as if you were taking a seven iron stance or even a driver stance, whatever club you want to have and picture in your hands. And again, this is a real good kind of grip checkpoint as well. Can I feel as though I get the basket into the fingers? And potentially a good reminder is actually pick it up from the ground, get into the fingers, because if you were picking a basket up full of balls, we wouldn't take it from the palm. So there's a nice little grip reminder there as well. So into that goal posture. Take your lead hand, place it on your trail elbow. What I want you to feel here is, is that we get a turn up to hip height. So you can see here how my shoulders have initiated the first part of my swing, but my hips have stayed down towards the golf ball, and then turn it to the top. Now you'll notice at this point, the basket has started to rest on my trail hand. I've got the shoulders to 90 and the hips to 45. So I've got a real split. It's called an X factor stretch. The bigger split we can get, the more speed and the more power. The more it's gonna help in the downswing as well. So we're in there, position one, position two. Look how the basket is resting on the back of my trail hand. This is the key move we're gonna speak about and how we master the downswing. This is the key bit, the downswing move. So what we're looking for here is, again, to the top, split it, get the basket to rest on the back of your trail hand, keep the balls in the basket. So look what I've done there. Keeping the balls in the basket, this club has started to, or the basket has started to shallow on the way down. If, if I was to throw it over the top, all the balls will be thrown out the basket this way. So watch the difference. Throw the balls out, or start with the lower, keep the balls in the basket. This is exactly the move we're looking for. And it's a great analogy because you can see if you've done it. You know if you've done it. Whereas sometimes you do a drill and you're like, I know that was a better shot, but have I done it? I don't know. Have I? Haven't I? It's really hard sometimes to actually do it. So let me get the badminton racket in here. I know, guys, you know I love the badminton racket on this channel because it's going to take a place in my club face and my golf club and just really show you how important this basket drill is. Okay, badminton racket's in there. This is ultimately my club face. This is my golf shaft. This is the basket drill. We're going to move it to the top. Keep the basket resting behind. So look how it shallows into position. I really want to feel that my palm missed the ground at this point as well. Move it through. If I was to make the over the top move, all these balls would come out the basket. It's such a simple analogy. Keeping the balls in the basket, feel like the basket's resting on the back of your trail hand. It's a key move that's gonna save you shots. It's gonna make you hit it further. Start enjoying your golf that little bit more. So imagine you're on the golf course right now. I want you to build this into your pre-shot routine. Obviously guys, if we're ever learning anything new, please do take some time. Do the basket drill at home. Do the badminton racket as well. Get a real understanding of how you keep the balls in the basket. Keep the balls in the basket. So we're gonna to go to the top. Balls in the basket, one-handed. Feel that move. All I'm thinking is one thing right now. Keep the balls in the basket. That was smoked. Smoked. So I've got a question here from Ian at Water. He said, Alex, do you have a video or a tip on how to get consistent swing speed on both the backswing and the downswing? Well, Ian, this is it for you. So grab an alignment stick. You know, I absolutely love these guys. These are, I think someone actually commented saying, Alex, do you have shares in them? I probably should. <laughs> I use them so much, but I think it's a great way to illustrate to you exactly what we're looking for. So in terms of backswing, a lot of people will rush their backswing and it'll be very quick and very sharp and we'd hear that swoosh. So what I want you to do here is to have no swoosh to the top and give me a, a long swoosh on the way down. So I want you to feel that you make that swoosh from the top of the backswing down into impact through to follow through rather than quick swoosh, quick 
next roof at the bottom. And that's why sometimes your golf swing feels a little bit out of rhythm, a little bit too fast, a little bit out of timing. So hopefully, Ian, that helps you establish how you make a bit of a better swing speed. Do it as your part of your warm up and everybody else, try it too. Thanks for watching this week's Thursday Throwback. I hope you have really enjoyed this video. It's been amazing your support and thank you so much. If you've not already guys, please do join the family, join the team. I want to help as many golfers as I can. So please would you hit that big red subscribe button and helps me grow the channel by hitting that thumbs up button too. So I really would appreciate that.